हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ डॉक्टर उमेश कुमार आर्या फैकल्टी ऑफ मीडिया स्टडीज़ गुरु जम्भेश्वर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज द गूगल डॉक्यूमेंट्स फीचर इट इज़ ऑल्सो नोन एज गूगल डॉक्स ऑल्सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू गो टू डब्ल्यू 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 डी ओ सी एस डॉट गूगल डॉट कॉम और यू कैन ओपन यूर जी मेल अकाउंट एंड क्लिक द लिंक हेयर एंड इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली ओपन यूर गूगल डॉक्यूमेंट्स हेयर सो बेसिकली गूगल डॉक्यूमेंट्स इज ए क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग एप्लीकेशन क्लाउड इज ए इज द नेम इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ए रिमोट सर्विस वेयर यू कैन सेव ऑल योर डेटा ऑल योर डॉक्यूमेंट्स वीडियो एट्सेट्रा ऑनलाइन and uh, that data is safely stored there and it is easily retrieved and very conveniently managed and you can share this data easily with your friends and you can also uh, work on this data in a collaborative way like uh, 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 researchers from five uh, five four countries they can uh, simultaneously work on a common document so this is a collaborative work also so google docs give you the facility of uh, saving your data online and you don't have to save any data on your computer so uh, the data is easily managed online so we would learn how to uh, upload the data and how to play with this data so we would open this after signing in uh, we would come to uh, this uh, user interface and uh, the first section would be to create to create a new document this is a ms word document or the presentation this would be the powerpoint presentation spreadsheet would be the excel sheet you can create a form also you can create a drawing and if you have lot many documents then you can group those documents under different folders so we would click first the collection so uh, this is uh, a folder so we would name our folder as research publications and press okay now my folder has been created and uh, like uh, these are the facilities available uh, with the research publication folder you can rename it you can change it colors and uh, you can download the complete folder and you can uh, delete it you can move it to the recycle bin and you can share it with the people so first we would have some data here i'm using this uh, email address of my daughter pranjal arya here so she doesn't have any documents online you also open uh, this google documents uh, website and you your data uh, your uh, website also would be blank like this in the first place now we are going to upload we are going to save our data online so we would click the research publication and uh, here one should uh, upload upload button is there click this so these are upload yeah files yes then my computer dropbox you can save any type of data it can be songs it can be pdf files uh, word files video powerpoint presentations etc etc so there is no restriction on the number of uh, type of documents so this is mine is in the research publications and uh, 
these are the research publications if I want to upload these files so I will press control and then select these files and I will open open means I will upload them settings uh, is the default setting is the best convert documents presentation spreadsheet and drawing to the corresponding Google Docs format start upload see this window is there and now see the first document is being uploaded and all the documents they are simultaneously they are being uploaded on the Google Docs so this upload is in the progress convert this has been complete the first one and uh, fourth one is also complete fifth one complete yeah and it is going to it will show the total number of percentage total number of space you have used for all your documents so it is giving you 1.24 GB storage space free you can get more space but you have to pay for the additional space because cloud computing application it makes money after uh, 5 GB of data is there so this is their corporate uh, application so we need not to worry beyond uh, below 5 GB of the data and most of our research publications or the necessary documents they they come within the limits of 5 GB so everything has been converted and uploaded so this these, these are the files <coughs> and if you want to open one file from here then you can click this and it will open this yeah so let's see uh, what manipulations we can uh, do with our Google uh, documents here like if I I want to share this with my friends then what I'll do is I will press this action button I will press this share so sharing can be of many types it can be uh, of a between the close user group like uh, you want only a certain number of people to view this online so you can uh, specify the number of uh, persons who are going to watch this only you can add the names or the email addresses of those people and they will get the invite to open this document the most common form of sharing is the public on the web if you want uh, the public just to ju if you want the public should read it only without any uh, facility to edit the document then don't select this if you select this then people will be able to edit your research publication so a researcher will not like uh, this feature if you still feel that uh, somebody should uh, edit this document then you can select this so we would press this save and it would automatically generate a link you can copy this copy and then you can go to the web and you can paste this link yeah and then uh, here that uh, publication is opening 
it has got nine pages so you can flip the pages from here also you can search anything in this document yeah like I have searched this research in design term so it is highlighting this here so like I'm not right now I'm not uh, opening the Google documents but I'm just placing this link here and opening this document from any computer so it is the read only file you cannot make any changes to it so this way you can share your publications or other documents online I would like to show you one of the very beautiful example of this which I have created for my presentation like this is my presentation I have created it online this is the mind map presentation tinyurl.com slash Umesh Kumar Arya I'll click this in this presentation I have mind mapped whole of my academic life story and uh, I have shared my research publications with my students or anybody else so I will click my research publications there are two types of research publication international one and the national one so I would click this international these are the titles of the research publications and if I want to share it with somebody for example you are right now watching this presentation and if you want to download or see this article research article so you will press this now see this is a Google document I have shared this research publication online with the friends so right now you can download this document and you can see it online also so so it is a very easy form of sharing with the friends and the public at large and you can cancel this close now this document is shared the same treatment can be applied to all of the other documents also and uh, narrow by all documents drawing collections PDF files suppose you want to see only the PDF files uh, in your total 5 GB data so you can search by the PDF files also although only the PDF files would be visible here you can select the preferences like anybody can visibility public on the web anyone with this link private shared so this is one of the very good facility in Google Docs and uh, you can create as many folders as you want just name it and like personal documents this is there so this research publication now has a subfolder personal documents it is just like the normal computers hard drive in which you can s uh, create a folder and you can insert many subfolders under it so this is the same thing you can create your independent uh, uh, folders also you can star you can make uh, the special special documents visible by while adding star to it for example if I click here all items then suppose this is a very nice publication 
and I want to highlight it and this is also the one so I will click the star so okay and the another is that I will click this star now restart so I can then search it with the start button and all the research publications or the documents would appear before me which I made them start and friends you can search your google documents from this search button also like I have so many documents I don't remember uh, where the file is now so I can search it online for example cross-sectional now it is as you type then it is telling the these keywords with the documents on its server so you can open this file from here also so google documents friends is a very powerful file hosting services and it doesn't charge you anything the data is perfectly safe free from viruses and free from any other problems and uh, researchers they can use it like anything uh, the most important feature is the sharing part of Google documents and if I want to uh, download this then I can do that also for example I'm sitting in America right now so uh, there I have there I uh, comes upon a need to download my documents there to show it to somebody then I will click that uh, particular document and then I will go to action and there is a button download and you see in few seconds this document will be downloaded on your computer's hard drive so data data is available all time it you can upload it from anywhere and you could download it from any part of the world right now it's not working I mean internet is slightly slow but it works it the, uh, the article gets downloaded on your computer's hard drive so friends this was a brief uh, introduction introductory part of the Google documents in the next presentation I would discuss more features about this thank you thanks for watching